Yo, bro, why don't you pick up some groceries on your way back, all right? We're running kind of low, and don't tell mom, all right, but I'm broke. Son, while you're living in D.C., we have to set some ground rules when your brother comes to stay with you. I've been patient with you, Aiden. We need those schematics by 10 a.m. tomorrow, or else we need... Mark, it's your responsibility. Come on, Aiden. Aiden, this is your mother. Pick up the phone. Aiden, pick up the phone, man. Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. 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 I got a granddaughter who likes dressing up too. Cute as a button. She loves Peter Pan. She always asking this old timer to read it to her. She's sharp as a tack. Full of ideas, questions about the lost boys and those pirates. 
probably because because I never grow old. She says to me, Grandpa, are you old? <laughs> I said, Yes, sweetheart, I'm old, and one day you're going to be as old as me. And this gets her, her brains all cooking, and she says, Grandpa, are you going to die? And I say, yes, sweetheart, of course I'm going to die one day. Well, it's not going to be today. And finally, she says to me, Grandpa, Am I gonna die? Oh, how do you explain a question like that to a kid? So when Halloween rolls around the next year, there she is, proud as punch, she stands up and she goes, Grandpa, I'm gonna be a pirate. <laughs> It's not too bad. A lot of walkers. There's a shitload of the family everywhere. I think I can see the purifier. They've already hooked it up. Maya, Aiden, where are you? We found a way in. South side of the camp. And 
arsenic. We've spotted the purifier, but I'm not sure about this. There is no other way. We need to get it back. Do it fast and stay quiet, or every walker in the city's gonna turn up. Someone's here! lost someone, a wife, a daughter. For me, it was both. I tried to cope. I'd go to sleep, wake up. But each time, the pain was a little worse. I started catching myself, tapping on pipes, hoping some walker would hear. But the last time, Heather heard me, found me. She's lost people, too. She taught me. Maybe we can bring people together again. So, we set up a camp. Heather wanted to call it Camp Anderson. I told her camp was just fine. This camp is ours. All are welcome. But no one's taking it from us. No one. There's plenty of food and supplies in D.C. if you know where to look and can keep the locals off your back. Walkers and humans alike. It didn't take long before another family came for what was ours. Made us an offer. If we signed on, they'd only take half of our food and whatever else we'd scavenged. I told them they could leave the way they came. Now, now, they said. They didn't want to have to use force. I said, good, because we didn't want to have to kill them. And that shook them a little. So they backed up and backed out, but not for long. See, cowards, they prefer others do the fighting for them. But I didn't know how far they'd go until those first walkers appeared. our camp. There are not that many now, but if the family's behind it, we can be sure larger numbers are coming behind these few first ones. Get rid of those walkers. Remember to aim for the head. Oh, shit. Like, head, head shots Make sure you grab some planks. Next guy coming from uh, at the side gate. Got that bloke! Hang on, reloading! We defeated the horde. 
lot of Clear out any walkers left behind. Yeah, yeah, activate that. The family used walkers against us, a distraction, and it worked. While we were fighting them, they raided our storehouse, killed some good folks. We could have let it go. Revenge will only get you killed. Except they stole our water purifier. Rainwater is not going to cut it, but I'm not about to drink my own piss. So, we're getting it back. A mess of walkers between us and them. But this time, we're on our guard. We move slow, careful. We got a chance. We're getting that purifier back, come hell or high water. Just got to Georgetown. You there, Anderson? Find their hideout, get our water purifier back, and get home safe. But move quietly. There are walkers everywhere. What the hell? What are they doing? Okay. How do I get up there? Huh? Well, there oh. Shit! Hey, Doc! Ah! No, all the players haven't spawned you them. Just don't move them. I'm out of ammo. Two. Five. Ah. Our crew survived Georgetown, found out where the family was holed up, and got the purifier back. It gave the family a little payback along the way. Still, that was only one of their outposts. Seems the family is bigger than we thought. Which means they'll be coming for us. Them and their leader. We haven't seen yet, but must be one mean son of a bitch. So, when they come, we need to be ready. Walkers, they're predictable. Humans, that's another story. The family just won't let up. They've come to get payback for us taking back the water purifier. And we'll have to use everything we've got to keep them from destroying this place. Oh, then this, this level is easy then. Hang on! Reloading! They went upstairs. Stop them before they steal our supplies. Those are our supplies. Don't let the family steal them. Great, but it's not over yet. Watch out, family coming through the gates. Don't let them steal from us. Here we go, they're coming in the gates. Watch the gates, they're coming through. Not over yet. I'm out of ammo. That's the last. 
careful. Our camp's safe again. Good fighting. Wasn't sure we survived that one. We drove the family back. This time. They'll keep coming. But Heather had an idea. Maybe we could use this to our advantage. If we knew when they'd hit us next. I said we didn't have the scouts or the manpower to cover the family's movements. But she said all we needed was one of their radios. <laughs> then, next time they show, well, we'll already have heard them coming. We know where the radio is. It'll just be tricky finding a way in there. There's a lot of gates between us and them. Then there's the spotlights, guards, finding a way to the roof. Just another walk in the park. But the risk, it's worth it. We survived the family's last attack, but we need to stay one step ahead of them from now on, or their next attack will be the last. Now, if we can get one of their radios, that'll let us listen in on their plans and outmaneuver them in the future. It's on you to find the family's outpost in the area and make it out with one of their radios. We're counting on you. I think I can see the family's outpost up ahead. Keep going. Let me know when you're able to scout the outpost and find a way inside. If he, if he knows what the hell he's doing, he'll let him There's something down there. Is that the button? I mean, the. You have to turn it on. Let him, let him turn it on. Let him turn it on. Let him turn it on. We need at least three people down here. Ooh. Three people down here. Neil, you got something? Well, I'm taking out a zombie right now. I take care of my friends. Okay. I got it. Great. Now fire the flare and get out of there. Got here just in time. We got everything. Time to get out of here. Shaggy and four seconds. Three, two, one. I got scars older than you. We robbed the family of their radio, them none the wiser. We knew we had to pick our next target carefully, or the game would be up. They'd know we were eavesdropping. But a little eavesdropping, and suddenly we had a lead on their base. Founders Square, a former shopping mall, now family headquarters. It'll be heavily guarded, but if we can sneak in, scout the area, and if the opportunity presents itself, we'll leave a little trap for them. Take out Reyna and the family for good. Join or die. That's what they told us when morning broke. They were there, surrounding the camp. It was like the family, but this time, it was different. It was how they stood. They could kill us all without blinking. Easily. Soon as they said it, Heather, she got this look in her eye. Just earlier, we'd been right at the edge of taking down the family. Then a new collection of assholes showed up. The Brigade. Turns out they were the reason the family had been hitting us. They'd been pushed out by the brigade. And now, we were getting the same treatment. And like I said, Heather got that look. And that was all the answer they needed. She paid the price. We've all lost people. To walkers, 
starvation. But this was different. These were monsters. And they killed Heather. They thought that would break us, scare us, make us beg for our lives. All it did was kick the hornet's nest. Shelter is a necessity, but it's also dangerous because when you put down roots, you become a target for anything looking to burn you out, steal from you, or worse. That's why we're constantly watching, waiting, and checking our defenses to make sure nothing gets in. And today, we're being put to the test. The family's going to try and steal from us, but not if we build defenses and kill them when they try. You got this. Placing barbed wire. Med bag. Use it. Stop them Hang before on. they steal our Reloading. supplies. Attacking from the inside. Here we go. They're coming in the gates. Stop them before they steal our supplies. Nice, but don't get comfortable yet. That's the last of them. Get rid of any of them that are still in our camp and be careful. That's all of them. Nice work. Camps growing by the day, but that means more mouths to feed. The city's got plenty out there to scavenge, but it's a matter of knowing where to look and having the right people looking. And that means you. Gather what you can, load it up into Caleb's truck, and get those supplies home. As our camp grows, it seems like we need more and more supplies. There should be some in the area, so make sure to search carefully and bring everything you can back to camp with you. I'll take it. Head back. Okay, I see the support. Good job. Grab them and keep moving. Nice work. Now bring those supplies home.
We managed to pile into Caleb's truck and make it out, but the others, they ran off with Reyna. We need to meet up with them. The question is where? Reyna said she could radio for help, call someone named Bridger, who has her own camp and as much love for the brigade as we do. The thing is, we need our former enemy to put in a good word. With a brigade chasing us, it's our only chance. That is, if Bridger can guide our team through. The problem is, whatever's down there, it may be worse than the brigade. My name's Bridger. Raina tells me you're with her, so I'll try to guide you through the subway and back to the surface where it's safe. Your route to safety leads through the subway tunnels. Just follow my directions and you'll be fine. Unless the walkers down there get you. You'll need to get through the train maintenance yard up ahead. around for moving it. Huh. Looks interesting. Something's wrong! Shit, you'll need to get the power back online. Oh. Ah! Damn it. The fuse is blue. <laughs> I need new ones to get this working. That's one E. By me a one A. I found one D right here. I'm gonna pull it. Found it. Got it. Good job. One A, one A, one A. We just passed this shit. We lost a lot of people when we had to abandon camp. Even more were wounded. Maya told me she can only help so much with what's at hand. And that's when Reyna spoke up. She said the family had made a lucky find. Drugs and antibiotics they hadn't had a chance to use before they were attacked. Problem is, it's all back at the family's old base. And the brigade's taken it over, made it their own. Maya's expression didn't change at that. She said that without those supplies, more will die. We're not letting that happen. It was a big risk taking those medical supplies. We caught the brigade by surprise, sure. But they'll come for us now with a vengeance. That lieutenant of theirs, Hurst, he won't give up. He killed Heather. Butchered anyone who didn't surrender. My question is, even if we deal with Hurst, kill him, who's giving him the order to pull the trigger? Who's his commander? For now, though, we need to hold the line and deal with the enemies coming right at us. Looks like the Brigade didn't like us helping ourselves to their supplies, so they've come to teach us a lesson. We've got nowhere to fall back to, so make every shot count. Uh, uh, if you that bomb before it's too late. Weapon jam! Another win. 
Estimated us before. He'll be ready this time. So we have to make this count. Take that murdering asshole down once and for all. Just got here. You there, Anderson? I'll take it. Hurst has set up camp at the Lincoln Memorial. You'll have to use the maintenance tunnels to slip inside. Once in, track Hurst down and kill him. Got a gate blocking our path. Get it open any way you can. Crap, there! Nice work. Now keep moving until you find their base. Son of a bitch! Something's got me worried. 
Hurst, he wasn't acting alone. Whoever it was that was taunting us. Patterson. Something tells me he won't be as easy to take down as his lieutenant. But when that battle comes, we'll fight him just like Hurst. As a family, side by side. Because that's what family means. Standing together when the odds are against you. Leaving no man or woman behind.